Listen, we are doing the first time ever on YouTube. We're bringing Six Figure Barbers here. I've done it on Instagram a bunch of times. And hopefully we can get some, some guys on that want to join the conversation, want to share their story. This is not to brag. This is not to get the IRS on you. If you have proof of income, then you, you're paying your taxes. You've got nothing to worry about. This is more so to uplift people who have been torn down. Because, listen, I see a lot of content about going to school, getting a degree, getting a good job. But I don't see a lot of content uplifting trades like the barber industry. And I see a lot of young guys who are aspiring barbers and they're afraid, they're scared, they don't know if they, this is the right profession for them. And I'm going to be honest with you, we need a bigger pie. And it's up to us as a collective to create that bigger pie of professional people who see this as a career and give them the tools necessary to make this a career then this industry will get the respect that it needs because it's underserved in so many ways and it's up to us to take responsibility to change that if you're a six-figure barber and you want to get on share your story you got to have proof of income it could be transactions from your booking app it can be square it could be your tax return <laughs> Amir, come on. Amir, if you got receipts, bro, come on. I got the link right there in the chat. Amir, you got receipts, bro? Yeah, man, but it's on screen. It's on my phone. Can you Only share your screen? You could email it to me real quick if you want to. Yeah, bro. I'm in near, I'm in Naples, Florida. I just started cutting right here. It's been uh that I'm cutting here in Naples two years now. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um I love Naples, man. Love it out there. It's beautiful. Yeah, a lot, of, yeah, a lot of money in Naples. Yeah, right there is where and all the old people, though, they leave uh, a lot of tips. Though. Oh, yeah, big money. So where are you cutting in Naples? Oh, I'm cutting at a barbershop called Alpha Men's Barbershop. Okay. Bro, I sent it already. That's not a part I make cash tip. It doesn't, but that's what I made the year so far. That's on the Vagaro app. Okay, so the year so far. And is this, yeah. this is, you said this is not cash and tip? Uh, some, some get give tip in uh, on the card but not all uh, some give uh, oh cash tip. so this is just credit card that just credit card it doesn't uh the uh cash cash tip so guys uh -huh. can you guys see that so he's at fifty thousand dollars we are going into june this is only credit yeah. card that doesn't include cash which means just on credit card yeah. he's making about ten thousand dollars a month just on but credit card but I grind uh, seven days a week. Seven days Let's a week I grind. Go. So why? Why do you? Why would you grind seven days a week? Like, what's the motivation? Man. What's the motivation behind it? Man, well, well, I see your videos, man. You inspire me a lot, you know. I, yeah. I see, man. You like, you know, where you come from? I come from uh, Belize. Very, um, you know. It's, uh, I always like to work, you know. And yeah, yeah, just. Uh, well, hopefully one day I get to open my sh my shop, you know. But it's a lot of licenses, and I, I don't yeah. know the procedure to do that yet. So yeah. you know, I, I mean, well, we listen. I, I don't know if you know if you've heard of my academy, but it's twenty dollars for one month. Sign up. Uh, there's three videos in there that will teach you how to open your own barbershop, and we're in Florida, so it'll really help you out from start to finish. We even give you spreadsheets where you can, you know. Um, track your 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 business but you can also budget and you can come up with a business plan so that you can open your own barbershop you're well on your way you just need a little bit of information to get you there if you if that's truly what you want to do yeah. is open a barbershop obviously you're making enough money where you have options yeah. you can do a lot of different things man so let me ask you a question you say you're from belize and 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 you know yeah. i know that being from another country being from another place that definitely motivates you and gets you excited about where you're at yeah. today. Um, can you can you speak on that a little bit? Yeah. Well, the thing is, well, I started cutting here when I was like 15 years. Right now, I'm I'm 26. So, uh, you know, I started cutting here there in Belize, and and Belize they only pay what like five bucks a haircut. Yeah. That's the and, max. and what are you charging now? I charge now. Uh, the haircut is 25. The haircut and beard trim is 40, and the haircut with the edge up line up shave is 50. so so let's say you average 40 bucks a cut going yeah. from five to 40 i'm working seven days a week too yeah. i'm excited yeah. like what yeah yeah man <laughs> it's double right there let's say you make uh fifty thousand is here and my country is hundred thousand 
Easy. Yeah. You know, you're rich, you go back home. You're rich. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's not, that's not a lot. But it, it, for me to come here to America, it took like seven seven years because I had yeah. to wait for the green card process and yeah. like that. But the people, you know, so they, I do. You. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I do. The thing is, I grabbed the razor, the razor with my hand. Yeah. And I, and I put shaving cream all around the older people and yeah. they like it when I edge them up with the razor all around and yeah like that it's, you know? it's unique and it's, it's something yeah. so i'm puerto rican and colombian it's a when i grew up cutting cutting hair um my cousins used to cut hair same thing just just a razor breaking the hand and just with the hand we we would we, we would yeah. do we would do lineups and stuff like that so definitely can relate so you have family back home still well, well my parents my mom uh, lived here been living here for like 15 years now she married my stepfather and yeah that's how i'll be able to come here Good but the you, razor man. i don't break i don't break it in half i use the whole razor the whole one yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah if it gets dull you just flip it around and boom no i change blade i got thousands of blades i got no i'm got, i'm saying on the same yeah. person if it gets dull on the yeah. same person you can flip it because it's two-sided right no no one side is not one side is one only one side has all the sharpness when what that razor do you use sharp, Dorco, that red one the Dorco, uh, oh got it got it okay yeah well send me the link man for the, the that one for the that for one the for the what's your instagram let's let's shout you out man let's show you love yeah you have man, instagram? Well, uh, yeah i have instagram but i'm barely on there you know i don't post on social okay I is there anything that. you want me to shout out maybe the barbershop maybe any, anything uh, i can i can show you love with yeah you show me love on um amir uh, instagram is amir um amir bze bze okay. amir it says you muted yourself. So Amir, A M I R B Z E. One two, yeah. One two. All right. So I just put yeah. it here. I'm gonna try to pin it real quick. That way people yeah, can man. uh can follow you, man, and and uh, yeah. show you show you love, man. You. It sounds like you know you you started from you started from the bottom, man, and and, yeah, and you come here and you bottom. build something up. So. That's yeah, well, thank you for appreciate your words, man. I look up to you, man. You, uh, all the blurry fields, man. I, I probably <laughs> try to do all your techniques and yeah. like that to make it come out blurry, blurry, you know. <laughs> but you're you're elite, you're elite level. So thank you, know, you brother. You're, you're a big big man. Uh, thank you, brother. That means a lot, man. Keep killing it, bro. You've just inspired a bunch of people yourself. I'm sure listening to your story, there's there's plenty of people that are inspired by what you're doing, man. And uh, thank you so much for, for being willing to share that. It, it means a lot. Thank you, man. I appreciate, appreciate it, man. All right, All right brother. Have a good night. All, All right, right, bless. bless Yo, that was so dope, man. Listen, we're going we're gonna to end it uh, for tonight. But, man, that that was amazing to hear. You got a guy who came from Belize charging $5 a haircut. Had, finally got the opportunity after seven years of working hard to, to come to America, to get to the American dream. A lot of people think that it's dead, but... You know he's proved that it's not and uh and one thing that i've learned man and it's a blessing and and sometimes sometimes we see that the glass half empty and we see it as as you know being a burden that that you know you your first gener generation born here or for me man being that my parents were from from another country man and coming here i definitely was humbled by visiting colombia visiting guayama and puerto rico um, where they don't have no AC, they ain't got no windows, they got bars, and and it humbles you, man. It makes you appreciate what you what you have and the opportunities that are here, and you don't take it for granted. And so you got a guy who came from Belize, wasn't making a lot of money cutting hair, and now he's he has the opportunity to make forty dollars a haircut, man. I'm scared to lose this opportunity, you know. Like that's probably the energy that he has, and so he's putting in the work, man. If that doesn't inspire you, man, I don't know what will, guys. That's it for tonight. I'm not. I'm not doing any more any more six figure bars. But we're gonna do this at least once a month. At least once a month. We might do it bi weekly. And if you guys like the video, please do share it. Smash the like button. All that good stuff. Um, and we'll keep this thing going. But with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. I love y'all. Appreciate the the continued support. And um, I'll see you guys either at one of the shows. Listen, you got Health and Wealth Summit in Miami. You got the Cleveland Barber Exhibition in Cleveland. That's uh, June. 13th i want to say so i'm gonna be at a, at a few shows here coming up so i hope to see you guys there i will see you guys tomorrow with another video something to do with the barber industry but all right guys y'all have a good one